a widow living in a trailer on a lake by herself anxiously awaits the arrival of an old flame from her past. But when he shows up, has it been too long? Can the flame be reignited? I'm John Stack from MacMovieGuy.com and this is my review of A Love Song. I hope that was very poetic because this film feels very poetic. Uh, it's a very nice, soft film. This is a film that more people need to see. We need to, like, force voters <laughs> to see films. Um, I'm tired of just seeing the same, like, ten Oscar titles. And then people are like, well, all I have to do is watch those ten. It's like, no, there's some really good indie films that, for some reason, they just didn't get the distributor. And the distributor doesn't know how to campaign... And they got great, they're, they're really good, but nothing's happening with them. And if you guys could just be so nice as to watch this film. Um, yeah, I'm a blind film critic and I watch films with audio description. And despite the fact that this comes from a distributor just way off the beaten path, um, it has audio description. It has audio description from a company I've never heard of from a writer I've never heard of, and from a narrator I've never heard of. <clears throat> All three things. And I will say straight up at the top of this review, this is one of the best audio descriptions I've ever heard. Um, ever. Ever. Across film and television. Uh, it is so descriptive. Every little moment, they take advantage of everything. Every scene. Uh, it, it's like they can. they always find something little something more to describe uh just a little thing uh that that may not necessarily have been described before um i mean i knew what her eye color was you know <laughs> like i mean it got right down to her eye color it described not just the color of her skin uh mentioned that she had wrinkly skin described her hair color and her hair style uh, the clothes that she was wearing, um, it described, you know, things throughout the film, you know, in different scenes, the intricacies of what it was that she was doing, uh, and the, the interacting and just acting choices, little choices that she would make about, uh, like repositioning herself, uh, which are things that you could, you don't even necessarily need to describe because they don't really further the plot or story but when somebody sort of like leans in because they're more interested in the conversation it feels like something that's so easily to be dropped and drifted away but when uh dale dickey does that here in uh as the lead performance when she does that those choices end up being translated into the audio description there's a lot of really simple choices that these actors make that end up making the audio description and it's it's really it's really exceptional uh i can't overstate this enough if you're interested in just simple um exceptional audio description this film kind of blew me away and i have no idea who this company is and i've never heard anything by them uh, i've never heard anything by this writer or this narrator and uh, I had a hard time even understanding what the company's name was, which is why I, I haven't quite um, gotten that down. I'm hoping to try to track it down, at least for when I do the review for my website, um, try to figure out by then. But I'm still in the process of trying to figure out what I heard because uh, I want to make sure I get it right. Um, it's a... This is a lovely film, and it's just, it was made all the more lovely by having, seriously, the, I, I want to say maybe the best, I've heard some really good audio description, but this, I, this might be the best audio description of 2022, uh, and I've heard some fantastic audio description in films this past year. Uh, all Quiet on the Western Front stands out to me as being just an exceptional piece of work, uh, actually jackass forever has a really exceptional audio description <laughs> i know i know <laughs> don't look at me like that i know i know saying that is just like weird but it really does it really does have <clears throat> a uh 
it, it has exceptional audio description as a film. But uh, we're going to talk about A Love Song, which I loved. I thought it was beautiful. Um, and it's really sad to watch a film that stars two people who have been around in Hollywood forever, delivering great performances. I mean, Dale Dickey has been around uh, so much so that somebody should have said it's her time. Like, we should be talking about her for lead actress. Uh, instead of trying to nominate somebody for, like, the fourth or fifth time who's, like, in their 30s, um, why aren't we nominating Dale Dickey, who's spent her entire career doing these performances, and she's finally been given a film where she's the lead, and she gets all the emotional range and depth of all these characters. This is... There, there is no difference uh, between this and Nomadland in terms of theme, in terms of style, in terms of the like that sort of meditative uh, quality on life. Uh, she's sort of reclusive, um, but she's not totally unapproachable, you know, which is what Frances McDormand's character was. We threw an Oscar at Frances McDormand, but we uh, can't even be bothered to put Dale Dickey in a conversation for Best Actress. We just don't think anybody's going to watch her film. And I think that's really sad because she's fantastic in this and will probably be in my top of the list, top year of the list. Um, I don't know if she'll be my number one, but I think she's easily going to be on my top ten for this, for uh, Best Actress. So this is a, a, such a personal, um, reflective performance. Uh, it's it's quiet, Um even when it, she's talking, it's quiet. This film just sits a lot in the quiet moments between two older adults who knew each other way back when. And both of them are in the same place. They both have lost their loved ones. Uh, and I think they're trying to test the waters to see whether or not there's a possibility that they could reconnect uh, and maybe find happiness together after loss. And, uh, it's, you know, it's not tawdry at all. It's not trying to be anything. It's just a really lovely film. Really well done, really well written, really well directed. Um, it's, yeah, this is a film that, uh, I, I feel like should have done a lot better than it did uh, coming out of independent Cinema coming out of, I don't know, I'm sure Sundance. I feel like it's probably a Sundance film. I don't know why more people didn't hear about it. I didn't even hear about it until it was nominated for a Gotham Award. So thank you, Gotham Awards, for nominating this film. Uh, because if you hadn't, I don't think I would have brought my attention to it. Um, and I'm really glad I did. I also think she's nominated for an Independent Spirit Award nomination for Best Actress, Dale Dickey. It's, again, it's a shame. She needs to be on more lists. Uh, she's been around forever. This is one of those, it's her time. I mean, we're, we're saying that a lot this year. You know, we're saying it for Brendan Fraser. We're saying it for Colin Farrell. We're saying it for Brendan Gleeson. You know, uh, there's a lot of people. Uh, Bill Nye. You know, there's a lot of, a lot of it's their time. Uh, it's Michelle Yeoh's time. It's Kehi Kwan's time. You know, uh, all these people who have never been nominated are being talked about this year. Why not Dale Dickey? You know? I mean, she's been around forever. And honestly, Wes Studi does a really great job. He comes along. Um, and I think part of the problem is that he's being campaigned in lead. It, it's not a leading performance. He's not in... He's not even in, like, the first 30 minutes of the film. He shows up, and then the film continues after, uh, after. So it just, it just like he's in a section of the film. It's like David Strathairn's performance in Nom *Nomadland*. Um, he's there when he needs to be, and he makes a, a an impact. And uh, then he, but he's not there the whole time. This is not an equal partnership. So pushing him for lead actor, I think, is is a mistake. Um, but yeah, Dale is uh, Dale's at the top of her game, and West Studio is really good too. 
So um, this is a really easy recommend for me. Not only does it have terrific audio description, I love the hell out of this film. I thought it was uh, gorgeous and quiet and um, just everything independent film is supposed to be. It's to just take some actors out, go get yourself some great character actors who don't usually get lead roles, take them out, give them a great script, give them a great story, give them some great characters and let them shine. And that's what the director did here. That's what they did. They let them shine. And this is a beautiful story. I'm going to give a love song an A. Um, that's really quite easy for me to do. Anyway, uh, if you've stayed this long, hopefully you will uh, think about subscribing. I like to talk about audio description and... Uh, try to further that for my community, try to get audio description on as many things as possible, um, and talk about things from a blind perspective, and challenge Hollywood to continue to uh, create more accessibility for those out there that watch the product. Uh, I also post things every day, so it's like free content. I'm basically like a free streaming service at this point, so <laughs> it just, yeah, all you have to do is click subscribe. The more subscribers I have, the more of an impact I can make uh, in Hollywood when I say something, uh, when I chastise a company for not putting audio description in something. Right now, the amount of followers I have does not scare them. They're not terrified of me. Add some zeros to that and uh, maybe. We'll see. I'm working on it, trying to get up there. So tell your friends. Uh, I also have a website, MacTheMovieGuy.com. You can follow me on Twitter at MacTheMovieGuy. You can go to Instagram, and you can follow me there, too. Guess what? At Mac Movie. <laughs> and you can go to the audio description project, abp.acb.org. It'll let you know what has audio description and where you can watch it. And you can go to the adna.org. That's the adna.org. And it'll let you know uh, who's describing your favorite films and television series. That's it for me today. I will review something else for you guys. And see you on the other side.